If you want to, you can unwrap them. I can get a few more. That is very good. I just take a packet of Italian sausages and squeeze the meat out from the skins. Although actually, like my mother, I believe in child labor. And now my own children are too big, I use my niece and nephew. So, about the size of a cherry tomato, your hands are much better suited to it than mine, because you've got nice small hands. See, I've already made mine too big, so ignore me. That looks perfect. So just roll them, roll them, roll them. You go first. Perfect. As you roll the meatballs, just place on a baking tray or any flat surface. You'd be surprised how many you can get out of one packet of sausages. If you use small people with small hands, 40 meatballs is easy. Perfect. Perfetto. Zaki. Yeah. Si. Grazie. Then brown the meatballs. The thing about this is not only does it make them look lovely and bronzed, but it makes more of their flavor go into the sauce for later. I start off by heating some garlic oil in a pan. That's it. Mm. Make some nice and brown before we add the sauce. Mm. Bit smaller. Huh? Thank you very much. Grazie mille. I'd say well, you're welcome, but I don't know what it is. Um, you just say, if someone says grazie, you just say prego. Okay. Back to my young apprentices, I get them to snip some spring onions into a bowl, and then I add them to the pan. Got some oregano, pizza herb. Yeah, like. Um, Absolutely. Well, I'm going to do quite a lot. If you want to do at this stage, you could add some wine or vermouth. We're going to add tomatoes. I then add two cans of chopped tomatoes. Half fill each can with some cold water and swill out into the pan. Would you like to add a bit of pepper? Mm. Ella, do you think that's enough? Otherwise, Ella won't like it. Ella, you can salt it, add salt if you like. Can you, oh, you're going to go over there. Well done. All that's left to do is add a couple of bay leaves. quite liquid because I'm going to let them simmer without a lid on and that means all the water will evaporate and there'll be a really strong gutsy taste. I'll move up a bit so you can have a look. Smell nice? Oh, it smells so good. I like to give the meatballs a gentle stir in their sauce and then when they're bubbling I let them cook for about 15 minutes, no more. Before I serve, I always like to taste, just to check the seasoning. And if I feel it needs it, I add some parsley. You can eat the meatballs with whatever you like, but I would be sacked by my family if I didn't serve them with spaghetti.